Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Something nice and simple. An oldie but goodie. This is the uh, elastic, kind of one size fits all Solomon knot bracelet. So as you can see, there is no uh, buckles or knot and loop. It's a, kind of like a stretchy type of bracelet and um, should fit most size wrists. But um, yeah, overall, really simple little project that you might want to try out. And uh, this was in the backpack edition of Paracord Fusion Ties. So I just wanted to try it out because I will be doing a uh, full review of this book very soon because it was sent to me so gracefully, uh, graciously by uh, JD Lindsen. All right, so this is what we'll be doing today, the Elastic Solomon. And uh, yeah, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So I got my paracord ready here. Got about six feet of paracord. And I've got just one of these standard, you know, usual hair ties. Nothing special about this one. And yeah, this is super simple. So we're going to take the midpoint of our paracord behind. And then we're just going to start tying our Solomon knots, right? So I'm going to go right over the middle, like so. Left on top of that. Bring that through the loop. Pull that tight. You don't want to pull uh, too tight on the first one because it might expand a little too much, but give it some decent tension and then continue. So left side over the hair tie, right over on top of that. Bring that through the opening. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is, um, see if you pull too hard, it kind of deforms like that. So with this one, you'll have to just give it a decent amount of tension, but at the same time, no need to over tighten because um, it may cause your knots to kind of deform, but yeah. So continue with the Solomon knots. I'm sure we're all very familiar with the Solomon knot at this point. But for those of you who are beginners, of course, Solomon, Solomon knot is very simple, as you can see. All right, so continue with that and as you go along, you'll um, see what I'm doing every few knots. I'm just kind of pressing everything into shape. Um, just keep everything nice and straight like that. Okay. So yeah, continue weaving. Tying your Solomon knots along you go. And um, just make your way all the way around the hair tie. It's pretty simple for this one. Okay, so just about done, and I have just enough paracord for one last little knot here. Now, uh, for this one, if you're tying along and you've noticed that you've um, went all the way around your hair tie and you still have a lot of paracord left, you can kind of pull the bracelet out a bit and um, let it stretch out and you can make a bit more room for the paracord. Now, I will warn you though, when you do wear this one, uh, what tends to happen is it'll stretch out a bit and then you'll end up with a bit of a gap like that. So that's just uh, the nature of this one. So hope that doesn't bother you too much. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to sip and singe the paracord excess and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it guys, I'm done. Snipped and singed off the excess paracord and this bracelet is ready to go. So like I said earlier, this one's uh, it's an oldie but a goodie. And it was in the uh, backpack edition of Paracord Fusion Ties. So I just want to try it out. And of course, full review of this book coming soon. Yeah, that's it, guys. So this has been the uh, one-size-fits-all kind of elastic Solomon knot bracelet. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, if you're looking for the paracord and materials I use in this video, check out my affiliate links down below. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.